On the floor of parliament today, MP Sarath Virasekara addressed the issue and Minister Harin Fernando responded to the allegations. I commend the President's efforts to steer the economy towards stability. As a ruling party MP, I must note that we are experiencing Indianization in the country. I am against that. If India is trying to use Sri Lanka, we are against it. We are against Sri Lanka becoming the 29th state of India. We appreciate the support given by India during trying times. However, we are against awarding the country's gateways at the airports to Indian companies. The person whom I should respond to is not present in the house. Yesterday, several alarming comments were made with regard to a comment I made in India. The sad part is that we speak for around 15 minutes. A media channel would air two minutes of that. I saw how comments made by the chair were also edited to give different means to suit the political agenda of a certain channel. We have been highlighting the dangers in the online space, but this is something that goes past that. This is a time when record numbers of Indian visitors are entering the country. When speaking of the historic links between the nations, the word Sri Lanka of India was termed as unconstitutional. I would like to state that this person brought forward the so-called Sri Lankan Lee Kuan Yew, Mahathir Mohamed and misled this country. We recall that past. We recall how we removed the cap of a police officer in Thumulla. They are using me as a bait for political gains. I consider this as a despicable act.